average life in the average 90s. And um, Agnes lost all of her um, family in a fatal car crash. Um, she goes to her sister's bedroom and she finds a notebook that her sister wrote detailing an adventure through uh, the Dungeons and Dragons world. And so, in order to learn more about her, in order to get closer to the memory of her sister, she goes through this Dungeons and Dragons module that her sister wrote. And she kind of gets into her whole world of Dungeons and Dragons and uh, discovering the things she was into, the people she hung out with, and the person she really was, um, that they kind of lost that connection through adolescence. And so, this show is about her going through her life, coping with this loss in a way that she never thought she would. So, this show in particular just really. It really grabbed my heart with the, the topics of sisters and um, sisters caring for each other no matter what their identity and what their interests are. I think that the show is about finding yourself. It's actually a very beautiful tale while incorporating a lot of humor and sass and action. Specifically touches on the issue of, of sexuality, which, you know, was a huge issue in the 90s and still continues to be um, a common theme in our culture. It's about family and the different forms that can take. It's about nerddom, it's about a bunch of people coming together and having a good time and trying to kill monsters at the same time. It's a letter to any nerd that grew up in the 90s. And it's a little bit about escapism and being able to live out your fantasies and be all those things that you can't be in the real world. But more than that, it's about character development and how these people grow and deal with loss and build connections between each other. It has a message um, about really embracing each other for, for who you are.